Welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. Today we are taking a look at the Milwaukee Bucks, my local team, the Milwaukee Bucks. And, um, yeah, and also I just want to say before I really get into this video, that, oops, that, that when as I'm doing this, I am well aware of the fact that I probably won't end up finishing this series because, well, right now I'm just, I'm just in a tough, right now this just doesn't seem like a series that I will be in, that I will end up finishing because I've just been focusing on my franchises mainly. And when I started off this series, I was just mainly trying to just occupy something when it comes to NBA. I was thinking about doing this the whole time, but this might end up being the last video of this Where's Did They Go From Here series. I'm sorry if I didn't get you your favorite team, but I just don't have the time to do so. So we're just talking about the Milwaukee Bucks here. My local team, the Milwaukee Bucks. Because I do live in Milwaukee, moved out here for high school, and so when it comes to the Bucks, they're actually in a very good situation right now. They're in a very, very good situation. I think if you ask me, they're just it, the only thing that's stopping them from being title contenders is a a great point guard, a like an awesome point guard and experience experience and an awesome point guard that's the only thing that's stopping them in my opinion now in a, in a perfect world they would get a guy like markel Fultz, or just like i think he would be an excellent fit playing off of Giannis and being another ball handler a secondary ball handler and then i think that that i but that probably won't happen unless they're willing to give up some guys like maybe Jabari Parker, which I mean that's not gonna work out because the whole point of that is to keep Jabari. But in terms of Thon Maker, he's actually pretty underrated. Wow, he's better. His defense is better than a C grading, if you ask me. His defense is better than that because he actually was a pretty good shot blocker for them. When it comes to Giannis, though, this guy is a freak. He is a freak. He is a baller. He's a beast. All right. He's only 22 years old. He's only 22 years old, and let, let, let's just let's just put this out here. All right, let's just put this out here. Uh, can I go by non-averages? I think. Well, I think even then. So let's let's just put this in per into perspective here. All right, look. Led his team in points. Led his team in rebounds. Led his team in assists. Led his team in steals, and led his team in blocks. He led his team in all five of those statistical categories. He is a freak. He's a freak. And so, and so, like, now we have Jabari Parker, and um, I'm really hoping that he would he will end up being a good, an all-star caliber player, and that he doesn't end up getting injured so often because he was actually doing better than Andrew Wiggins in my opinion before he got injured. I mean, he was just, he's just, like, almost a perfect guy to play off of Giannis. He'll be a good, he's more, like, he's a good scorer, and he's also pretty athletic to run with Giannis on the break. And, I mean, if he, his ceiling, I think he can average, like, I mean, with Giannis, it'll be probably, like, 22 points per game, 22, 23 points per game. So, I mean, this, the, the Bucks are in an awesome situation. And, uh, so I live in Milwaukee, like I said. Obviously, the hype is all around Giannis, and it's also around Malcolm Brogdon, who should be Rookie of the Year. I think I think him winning Rookie of the Year should be the thing, because he actually he showed some promise. He actually had a triple-double triple early on this season. And I think him coming off the bench, like, as a point guard, it's not so bad. If he start, if he's their starting point guard, like that wouldn't be such a bad situation for them. But I think he would be suited. He would be better suited in a role coming off of the bench. Coming off the bench, that would kind of be like he'll play that man. Yes, look at that triple double against the Bulls. Like he can play that sort of Manu Ginobili role for them. Bring some energy and instant offense coming off the bench for the Bucks. I think that's kind of where I see Malcolm Brogdon falling because he's kind of like a do-it-all type of player 
he can shoot, he can finish, he can play make, he can rebound in certain games. Pretty solid defensively too. And then Don Maker. Don Maker, I mean against the Raptors, he showed he was a good rim protector and, and I think I think that he's a guy that will be very good for the Bucks in the future because he'll be a good rim, rim protector once he finally emerges in that sense and I think he's actually better than that. I think it should be at least the B minus if you ask me. And uh, he'll be able to space the floor too. He actually shot 37, 38% from three. So that's pretty good. And then you also have Chris Middleton. He's a good D and three player. So Giannis just has himself plenty of talent at his disposal. And he's a freak to go along with that. So I think the Bucks, if they make the right moves this offseason, whether that's signing a guy like Drew Holiday or Jeff Teague, or somehow miraculously getting a guy like Markel Fultz somehow miraculously, or you know, just getting just getting themselves a better starting point guard, then they're gonna be in excellent shape because they have their depth. And then there's Greg Monroe coming off the bench. For what he's for what he does, he's overpaid. If you ask me, I mean, for what he does, he's overpaid. But what he does is he's good at that. He's good at that. He's good at coming off the bench and just being a scorer. And so I think the future at starting center at the starting center position will be will be Don Maker. He'll be a guy that can defend and he can also shoot space the floor out even more. You'll have you'll have spacing all around for Giannis all around the floor and then coming off the bench you have Tony Snell and you have you have depth you have just an excellent team at your disposal and if they stayed injured I think they would have won more than 42 games all right Jabari <sighs> I hope he stays I just hope he ends up turning around and becoming just an awesome player an awesome scorer like he'll be a peer scorer next to Giannis that's kind of where I see him and he can run in the fast break with him. So I think Jabari has excellent potential. Still, he's only 22 years old. He still has a whole career ahead of him. And that's the crazy part. There is only, there are only two players on this roster that are above the age of 30. That are above the age of 30. This, they are super young. They are super young. So they have a lot left to do. And so yeah, the Bucks. They have an excellent future, and um, if you bandwagon off to the but off of the Bucks for all the Milwaukeeans who are not Bucks fans, then uh, you need to you need to hop back onto them right now. Otherwise, you will not. Otherwise, it'll be too late to fill out your bandwagon application because you guys have something exciting here, and uh, I'm excited to watch it here because. I mean, I don't have, I don't have cable anymore, but, like, if I did, I'd probably be watching Fox Sports Milwaukee most of the time, and that is where I want, where I'll be watching the Bucks and the Brewers, mainly. So, yeah. And then, also, he's actually a decent free throw shooter, too. But, I mean, Chris Middleton is your, and also, wow, Greg Monroe is actually shooting 74% from the free throw. That's pretty good. For a guy like him so yeah I mean this team is gonna be great this team is gonna be awesome let's actually take a look at Don makers per 36 I'm actually curious to see what that is yeah Greg Monroe I mean obviously I'm actually curious to see what Don maker would have in terms of per 36 15 points a game seven rebounds 1.7 blocks yeah I mean I could see I could see maybe I could see the rebounds and I could see the blocks because he'll probably be facing up more often in offense instead of getting rebounds and uh, also I think if Don Maker does develop that face up game I think he'll give Draymond problems because I'm a warrior fan and Draymond has struggled with dealing with face up fours that are taller than him so if Don Maker can develop that then I mean that can he'll give Draymond problems if you ask me if he just develops that knockdown shot 
But yeah, that's the Milwaukee Bucks in a nutshell, and uh, I spent a long time talking about them because I'm excited to see what they have for the future. This team, they beat us in 2016. <laughs> Not this year. Not this year. That's why we put them, put, put their own record. Not this year you beat us. And sadly, I didn't go to the go to that game, but oh well, it's whatever. Yeah, he didn't beat us at all this year. But anyways, that'll do it. This edition of the Milwaukee Bucks, and um, if I end up doing another "Where Should I Go From Here" series video, the next team I will be going over with, with uh, going over will be the Atlanta Hawks. So I'll see you then, if I do see you.